Hey guys, let's continue reading 1 Corinthians in its entirety. Today we're in chapter 12, so grab your Bible or your Bible app and let's get started. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, spiritual gifts. Now dear brothers and sisters, regarding your question about the special abilities the Spirit gives us, I don't want you to misunderstand this. You know that when you were still pagans, you were led astray and swept along in worshiping speechless idols. So I want you to know that no one speaking by the Spirit of God will curse Jesus, and no one can say Jesus is the Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of all of them. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so that we can help each other. To one person, the Spirit gives the ability to give wise advice. To another, the same Spirit gives a message of special knowledge. The same Spirit gives great faith to another. And to someone else, the one spirit gives the gift of healing. He gives one person the power to perform miracles and another the ability to prophesy. He gives someone else the ability to discern whether a message is from the spirit of God or from another spirit. Still, another person is given the ability to speak in unknown languages, while another is given the ability to interpret what is being said. It is the one and only Spirit who distributes all these gifts. He alone decides which gift each person, person should have. One body with many parts. The human body has many parts, but the many parts make up the whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. Some of us are Jews and other Gentiles. Some are slaves and some are free. But we all have been baptized in one body by one spirit, and we all share the same spirit. Yes, the body has many different parts, not just one part. If the foot says, I am not a part of the body because I am not a hand, that does not make it any less a part of the body. And if the ear says, I am not a part of the body because I am not an eye, would that make it any less part of the body? If the whole body were an eye, how would it hear? Or if your whole body were an ear, how would it smell anything? But our bodies have many parts, and God has put each part just where he wants. How strange a body would it be if it had only one part? Yes, there are many parts, but only one body. The eye can never say to the hand, I don't need you. The head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. In fact, some parts of the body that seem weakest and least important are actually the most necessary. And the parts we regard as less honorable are those we clothe with the greatest care. So we carefully protect those parts that should not be seen. While the more honorable parts do not require this special care, so God has put the body together such that extra honor and care are given to those parts that have less dignity. This makes for harmony among the members so that all the members care for each other. If one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. And if one part is honored, all the parts are glad. All of you together are Christ's body and each of you is part of it. Here are some of the parts God has appointed for the church. First are the apostles, second the prophets, third are teachers, then those who do miracles, those who have the gift of healing, those who can help others, those who have the gift of leadership, those who speak in unknown languages. Are we all apostles? Are we all prophets? Are we all teachers? Do we all have the power to do miracles? Do we all have the gift of healing? Do we all have the ability to speak in unknown languages? Do we all have the ability to interpret unknown languages? Of course not. So you should earnestly desire 
the most helpful gifts. But now, let me show you the way of life that is best of all. And that's where we end for today. And a cliffhanger. How fun. We'll continue reading 1 Corinthians. Thank you so much for listening. Subscribe if you want to continue to read through the uh, book of 1 Corinthians with me and whatever else I'll have later on at the time. I'm planning on reading the whole Bible here. It's just something that occurred. Um, and I also put out other types of videos as well, like Kingdom Conversations with other brothers and sisters in Christ, um, vlogs sharing what's going on in my personal life and God, how God's speaking to me and through scripture and in my daily walk and uh, experiences with um uh, with the body of Christ and the world around it. And yeah, so some really great stuff going on in my life. And by great, sometimes it is terribly great, but great nonetheless. Um, I love you guys so much. Take care of yourselves. Bye. <laughs>